A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul Ulul Amri Minkum and always a reminder for myself and Abdul Qalaji Sadaifu, Miskeen, Zahir and Jahad and by for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence, Alhamdulillah the holy month of Muharram, the month in which Prophet left Mecca to establish the nation in the holy Medina to Munawwar. And alhamdulillah we've described many times the immense realities of the station of leaving Mecca and the 13 years of struggle to enter into the city of light. And that the immense realities of Muharram and the 10 days up to the 10th day of Ashura is a time in which Allah opens the pilgrimage of a nation and nations and <coughs> granted them immense forgiveness. That Ashura is a time when Allah grants a light to the souls and forgives the burdens they carry, the badness they carry and grant them a salvation. And the greatest salvation is the hijrah of Sayyidina Muhammad the taking nations because the physicality and the arrival of Prophet is a hijrah for all Prophets, that nobody can reach the reality without Prophet physically coming and establishing that relationship. That Mecca is the state of struggle and for 13 years to struggle with the heart, struggle with the circumambulation and everything that Mecca represents for the believer because we're in the first stage is Islam and light comes in Maqam al-Iman and Islam is a battle. Islam is not so easy that we just say we accepted Islam but to live in Islam in which Prophet gives to us that to establish Allah within the heart because the Kaaba symbolizes the house of Allah the heart of the believer in which 13 years the Messenger of Allah with his holly companions. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In a state of struggling and keep struggling to establish the deen, keep struggling to to announce the prayer, to have the salah, everything that was transpiring in Mecca when we bring it into our own life that it's not so easy that we just tune on, we come to a YouTube and then we think that we're going to reach station of iman so simple. And that Prophet is giving to us that we must struggle. To establish Allah within our heart, to establish Allah's house within our heart, to establish the process of circumambulating Allah Everything that they were trying to do is symbolic for our lives. Making tawaf is, is not as easy as the reality of the tawaf that is your whole focus to be Allah and Allah's heaven, the kingdom and in everything we do, dunya actions and what we think to be akhirah actions that to be weighed that are they for Allah And what we're doing is it for Allah 
and that becomes the haqqaiq of the circumvallation. Means uh, wanting to declare Islam in Mecca is not such an easy task that Prophet is giving to us. How they had to struggle to even meet, means how we struggle just to accept Islam. Struggle to call the azan, to make their circumvallation, to do any of the worshipness is symbolic of our own lives. The people think it's so easy they'll come and next week they'll be in iman. And Prophet is giving to us that it has to be years of struggling in which we struggle against shaitan, we struggle against the bad character, we struggle against all of these difficulties and each Muharram Allah to grant us uh, a shanura, a salvation that each, each attribute has to be a salvation. Means where we struggle with our eyes, we struggle with the ears and the hearing to bring them into Islam. Now the greatest danger for the nation is their eyes because shaitan is trying to destroy the eyes with everything that and every image and every impure image that he brings into the eyes of those whom believe and someday will believe. So it means that if we don't understand the fight then we've already lost the battle. But you can sometimes get a hint of the fight by looking at what shaitan's doing. Because trying to guess the spiritual may be difficult for people. But there's a big battle from shaitan over the eyes of people over the ears and what they hear from these musics and these sounds, these eyes, what they see. And if they control the eyes and the ears, they control the emotions of people, lowering their frequency, lowering their desires, lowering their, their emotions in which they become completely emotionless robots, taking away their sense of sensibility and the subtleness of touch and making them to be senseless in which they have no more subtlety in their touch, like the heart that becomes dead. And this is the reality of the struggle in Mecca, struggling in the heart to bring Allah within the heart to bring the deen within the heart, to bring the sense of Islam into the heart that requires struggling with the ears. So that to clean the ears, Ya Rabbi give me a strength not to hear all of this waswas, all of this backbiting, all of these sounds that the people are, are now bombarded in every direction with these characteristics and these, these energies. And the Ya Rabbi grant me to fortify my eyes against every evilness and wickedness that coming. As they struggle with these realities that becomes the reality of their hijrah. The Prophet reminding for us this struggle, that we have to struggle and we have to fight against all of these characteristics. And at each Ramadan Allah at each Muharram and Ashura that Allah grant us a najat. That grant us through our senses Ya Rabbi grant for one of the Ashuras that the sense and the clarity of eyes begin to be cleaned, the clarity of the ears to be cleaned. That the clarity of sense to be cleaned, the breath to be cleaned, means all of these attributes that grant us the secret of guidance and the reality of guidance that in every ashura Allah and shalat to grant the believers a salvation. Not all at once but it comes through a series of muharrams and ashuras. Means it's a lifelong struggle in which Allah grant us 
grant us a light within our ears, grant us a light within our eyes, grant us light within our heart and within our hands and to take away these difficulties. And as a result the hijrah becomes real into the city of lights and the reality of lights. And we said that the, the two examples of that companionship is that we have to have Imam Ali Salam and Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq Salam. Because everything that transpires is an eternal reality, not an event in history. Imam Ali comes to teach us, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْهَرْ That your life is about sacrifice. So if I think to myself, I'm going to be like Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as Salam and I'm going to accompany Prophet with truthful character. But each of the companions is an example for us. He said, before they could leave to take off, you have to be like Imam Ali in which you sacrifice yourself. So we have a reality within Imam Ali that has to be accomplished the first of the Imams which said, I want to be Siddiqi character, Siddiqiyun character. Then they give to us the example, if you want to be like that then live a life of sacrifice, self-sacrifice in which what maybe I wanted is not important and what I need is maybe not so important. And for the sake of Allah and His Rasul that sacrifice is dearest and sweetest, فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ That make your salawat that the dhikr of this month Subhana Rabbi al to the Lord Most High Salli li rabbik means that our life is in the praying to Allah and praising upon Sayyidina Muhammad and live a life of sacrifice in which it accompanies those two that my time, my wealth, my mind, my possessions, my Aqal, my intellect, my abilities to be for Allah and His Rasul. In other words Allah alone but Allah where it encompasses or encompasses Muhammadun Rasulullah Everything in that way is our life of sacrifice. So that Allah dress us from the Kawthar oceans, Allah bless us from the Kawthar oceans. This becomes the immensity of that reality and the opening of that reality. That Allah dress us from these Kawthar, dress us from these blessings. Grant us a life in which to be Kawthari servants of Allah This is what Imam Ali is just at the beginning of the door instilling within our hearts. That as you embark in this 12 months, remember that you have to be a youthful innocent boy that lies within his bed and says, for the sake of Prophet I will die. Because we have to exhibit both of the Sahabi, both of these realities because the Kaaba has the two doors with the hearts. Imam Ali Salam is reminding us your whole life has to be about this sacrifice. How can I sacrifice my time, my ability, everything that Allah gave to me for Allah where it has the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Some people may find a project and say, oh this is for Allah but there's no mention of Sayyidina Muhammad for us everything is the keys, La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah in which Allah will be pleased and Sayyidina Muhammad will be pleased. 
And that's why then they taught us, make a khidmat, be of service. With your time and with your wealth, with your ability, with your knowledges, that becomes فَصَلِّ لِرَبِّكَ وَانْهَرْ That these servants they learn their life was a khidmat. At that time Imam Ali Salam gives them a sword and says, now accompany Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq to the cave and salam in which you're truthful in your character and your deeds and you acknowledge that my life is about sacrifice. And as a result the, the moving towards Prophet becomes completing. It's in the way of common, not halfway but it becomes the way of being perfected in which the Holy Companion instilled within our hearts, your life is sacrifice. And the other blessed Holy Companion, the face of the nation Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq as Salaam is that to be truthful in your acts and in your deeds and we described in the previous months that the greatest deed is the deed of love, be truthful to your love. And that that servant can now accompany Sayyidina Muhammad and their hijrah becomes real. They're setting off in Muharram on a journey to the Lord of Power to reach Zul Hajj. So we pray that Allah grant us this Muharram and then we enter through Surah Tawbah and no Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem that we put our head on the table and say, Bismillahu Akbar, that, Ya Rabbi my sacrifice to be real. That I put my money, my time, my effort, everything into La ilaha illallah Muhammadun Rasulullah And that grant me that Siddiqiyah character of truthfulness truthfulness to the love of Sayyidina Muhammad and that become the true hijrah into the city of lights. And the immensity of the city of lights that Prophet's holy heart represents. And all of Surah Tawbah is an opening to this doorway. Within Surah Tawbah we find the secrets of the baya, the ahad and the covenant. The holy verse in which they enter into the cave Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq and Sayyidina Muhammad and this is the cave of truthfulness in which to battle all of these difficulties and temptations within the heart. We pray that Allah dress us from the immensity of this holy month and the immensity of these eternal realities in which are symbolized in this holy month. And they're not events only in history but they are eternal events that must be accomplished within our own lives. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen wa hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs. Please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also. Be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaykum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuh.